Hello, this is Team Observact and I am Team Lead Obirup Guru Roy. We are participating in SPROS 2026 in IRC International Rover Challenge and our rover name is Nandi, New Adaptive Navigational and Discovery Intelligence. So what are we waiting for? Let's go and see what are the updates and in the, in the developments of rover. Let's go. For IRC 2026, our rover is leveling up with a rugged four-wheel drive system paired with independent steering on every wheel. This setup gives us tight maneuverability, smoother navigation across unpredictable Martian terrain and also precise control in mission-critical environments. Thin wheel that tires are designed and developed with TPU material with aluminium casing enclosed bearing in between to develop a sandwich wheel system in which the total motor is housed. This ensures the motor to not to touch with the ground at all. Our robotic arm is engineered for high performance planetary operations. It supports an impressive 8 kg payload and delivers full 6 degrees of maneuverability. The shoulder and elbow joints are driven by three precision linear actuators ensuring stable, high torque motion under demanding condition. At the wrist, a compact 3 bevel gear differential provides two independent axes of control enabling versatile and reliable and effective movement in confined spaces. Our electronics are built on a custom power distribution board using a dual 3S and 6S battery architecture. We step down power using 300 volt bar converters with dedicated cooling, ensuring stable voltage for all subsystems. Safety is paramount and onboard Arduino Mega continuously monitors the system using SCS712 current sensors. If any rel exceeds the safe limits, it instantly isolates the fault using onboard relays while communicating status to the main computer via CAN bus. For actuation, we drive Rhino IG52 motors and independent RDS51150 steering servos for precise mobility. The robotic arm utilizes high torque linear actuators and NEMA steppers, providing torque needed for heavy lifting and precise manipulation. For communication, we implemented a fault tolerant dual link system. We use a 433 MHz 3DR module for high penetration telemetry control and a ubiquity 5 GHz light beam for high bandwidth video streaming ensuring we never lose contact. For navigation, we integrate a Radiolink AC100 with the U-Blox M10 chip. It locks onto multi-constellation satellites for 50 cm positional accuracy, feeding real-time coordinates directly to our navigation stack. For the robot software, we use a split architecture. An NVIDIA Jetson Nano handles the heavy thinking using the ROS2 framework, while an Arduino microcontroller executes precise motor control. This setup allows us to control our 6 degree of freedom arm using Move It 2. It calculates complex movements automatically, making it easy to pick up objects and perform maintenance tasks. For perception, we use a Yellow Gate model, optimized with knowledge distillation to detect objects instantly. We also use Aruko markers for autonomous navigation, allowing the rover to calculate its precise 6 degree of pose and correct orientation drift in real time. Our rover can be controlled manually as well as it can work autonomously. For the manual mode, we can control it using any controller and we have successfully simulated its working in our ways. And for the autonomous mode, we consider combine a 2D LiDAR and the Intel RealSense D435 in create a dynamic mode using the NAP2 stack. The rover autonomously plans its own path around obstacles. Finally, all this data is sent to our base station. Our custom dashboard connects directly to the depth camera, providing a live depth camera feed alongside battery, statistics, ensuring we have total situational awareness and control. Now moving to a science part of rover, we are using a minimalist design with robust efficiency. So our rover consists of specialized instruments and chemicals to detect the presence of extinct and extant life. Yeah. Our science box is divided into 5 sections for 5 different sites. Each section contains 4 test tubes. We are using a NEMA 17 motor to rotate our carousel and switch sections into various positions for chemical deposition, steering or color sensing. We are using a custom made auger to collect soil from designated sites at a depth of 10 cm below the ground and transport it to the funnel system located at the top of the science module. For uncontaminated soil disposal, we will place the soil in a 3D printed container and drop it at the designated location. For the lower surface analysis, we are using a 7-in-1 NPK sensor to measure nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, humidity, temperature, pressure and electrical conductivity. We capture high detail microscopic images of soil, analyze their texture, color and chemistry using our custom AI model and deliver the most accurate classification. 
we are using NQ4 gas sensor to detect methane, NQ135 to detect carbon dioxide, NQ8 to detect hydrogen, and the BMP280 sensor is to measure temperature, pressure, and altitude. We are using four chemical tests the label carbon test for detecting organic carbon, the xanthophyll test for identifying plant life, the B8 test for detecting proteins, and the ETBR test for detecting DNA. In the rover, instead of a sophisticated spectrophotometer, we use a simple TCS3200 color sensor and meticulously adapted it for fluorometric and colorimetric measurements as needed. After calibration using a spectrophotometer, the color-based results successfully estimate the chemical concentration.